Hi and welcome back. Following on from last week's video, which was what's new and exciting in skincare, to get you excited about the fact that the stores are open and also to celebrate a new season, obviously because we're now going into the midst of spring. And what I wanted to do was look at what's new and exciting, but it was sort of middle high end. Let's do what's new and exciting budget. These are the beauty buys that will really benefit your skin, particularly if it's sensitized or dry at this time of year. And actually, I think that's a bit of a, a bit of a problem right now. The, the weather is all over the place. We had snow on Monday, and yet I then went out house hunting on Wednesday, and it was a really lovely warm day and you needed an SPF. And now it's gray and overcast, but quite chilly. Your skin doesn't really know what to do. These are the budget beauty buys to help your skin cope through the next few weeks of sort of unpredictable weather. Let's put it like that. They are specifically for sensitized and drier skin. And I want to say up front that this video is partly sponsored by Superdrug. You know, I've worked with Superdrug in the past. I have my brilliant beauty box with them, but they have a brand new Optimum Collagen range. Now, what's interesting about Optimum Collagen is yes, it's a great humectant emollient rich range. There's an SPF in the range as well, but it has the addition of collagen that acts as a moisturizer. Collagen is a large molecule. It's important within the skin because it actually gives your skin a sort of bounce and a sort of flexibility. In skincare, it sits on the surface of the skin, but it locks in water. It's a great, great, great moisturizing ingredient, but it also has collagen peptides in, and that's the collagen molecule, that, that large amino acid chain that sits within the skin. If you break it up, your skin sees it, and we've spoken about this before, it's a peptide and your skin sees it as a sort of signal to create new collagen. It's a signaling ingredient. So you have the collagen to hydrate, plus you have the collagen peptide to boost the production of collagen. And there are four products in the range, and my favorite, and I think the hero product, is this one. This is the uh, Superdrug Optimum Collagen, and this is the serum, and it's lovely. If I show you this, you'll not be surprised to see it's one of those beautiful milky serums that I think benefits all skin types, but this is particularly good for drier, sensitive skin, but also slightly older skin that wants something more from their everyday lovely humectant serum. It's got a very, very similar feel to uh, the Simply Pure uh, hydrating serum that I love, that's a cult classic that actually was in my box last Christmas. This has a very similar feeling to it and effect on the skin, but has the added action of the collagen and the collagen peptides. I really like it. The eye product is a really nice one as well. And what you get is you get a lightweight, very similar texture to the serum, but in a sort of a slightly more cooling, liquidy feeling. So you get sort of that light feeling that you could put oh, right around the eyes, right over the mobile lid and around the eyes and the ocular bone as well. It's really, really nice. That can be used morning and night. And I actually think the serum can be used morning and night as well. There are two other products in the range. There's a collagen day cream that has an SPF 30 in. And it's very interesting. I was having a conversation in my Facebook group about, um, so which you should join by the way, it's called Nadine Baggett Community. And I think what's really interesting is everybody goes on there and has a discussion. And we had a discussion recently on the, the idea of using a separate SPF versus an SPF in your foundation or your moisturizer. And I don't think you should dismiss SPF in your makeup or in your skincare as opposed to a separate SPF. The argument is, yes, obviously you're not going to use the amount of product that is required, the two micrograms, milligrams per square centimeter that you would require to get the SPF, but it's still an SPF and it's still been tested to give that labeled SPF. And this is an SPF 30. And I just think it's a really good, especially in the UK when it's slightly gray and overcast, it's a good year round SPF. This is obviously a sort of slightly thicker texture because you're obviously people looking for extra moisture, but it still goes in really, really nicely. None of that sort of SPF smell either. It's a really nice product. There's also a night cream that has a really similar texture. And now we're going up a level. This is a lovely emollient rich, humectant rich cream. They all are cruelty free and vegan. More importantly, they have that collagen peptide that gets to work while you sleep. This is where the collagen peptides really come into their own. You could easily layer the eye cream, the serum, and the night cream to really make the most of those active ingredients. All very reasonably priced. 
definitely one to look out for if you have a dehydrated skin, a sensitized or a sensitive skin, or you simply want to make that next move up. I've talked about peptides in the past. If you want to make that next move up from something that's purely hydrating and a humectant or emollient up to something that's got those peptides in, this is a great first step. Well done, Superdrug. I really like that range. Other things that have been launched recently, I do think that people should have a look at the new CeraVe Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And I say it because so many people have problems with hyaluronic acid. We know that hyaluronic acid locks water into the skin. It can be sticky and dry and tacky and not very pleasant to use, which is why I always say, then put a sort of hydrating serum over the top like that. But this one you don't need to because this has all of the ceramides and the emollients. So you've got the glycerin and you've got the hyaluronic acid, but you've also got a whole host of ceramides, which means that this end up ends up becoming as moisturizing as an actual moisturizer, as well as having all the advantages of having hyaluronic acid. So you get the instant plumping, plus you get the long-term hydration. I think it's a really interesting single step product. Those two are both definitely serums to look out for. Really, really interesting. I do think we're coming away from that idea of essences that are super watery and layering lots of product and looking into products that just deliver so much more bang for your buck. Let's put it like that. And then I also want to do a high street update on Seeker. Do you remember I talked about the Tiger Grass based Dr. Jart products in Thursday's video and that weird green face cream I'm now actually using as an under eye concealer. Got that tip from Sophie Hanna. I tried it all over my face and it, it looked crazy. It looked completely ghost-like on me. So it doesn't work on my skin type, which is quite yellow based, but actually I'm using it around my nose and under my eyes where I've got sort of reddish capillaries or just sort of slightly dark circles and it works. It's really clever, but a tiny bit goes a long way. Anyway, I wanted to say that there is a brand new Seeker range actually available on the high street and it's from Burt's Bees. And now normally I'm not a huge fan of Burt's Bees because things are very, very, very heavily fragranced, but this is an unfragranced range and it's their new Re Rescue Replenish Cream with Seeker and I like it. It's a nice one if you're looking for that calming, soothing, reparative Seeker Tiger Grass extract, which is a known anti-inflammatory in the skin, but you want it available on the high street. Look out for that one as well. I actually want to give a really quick shout out here to two or three products that are available on the market that I've really relied on over the last, mm, probably about six weeks when my skin has been going through a weird phase of being really dry and sensitized. Do look at the AHC Aquilaronic Cream. I've spoken about this before. It's really lovely. It's available in Superdrug. It actually is Korean's number one skincare range and it is hyaluronic acid based, but it's really, really, really beautiful. Go and have a look at it. I mean, I know that the eye face cream is the cult one, but I actually really love this gel cream moisturizer. And also I've really used a lot of the Curel range. The Curel range is uh, a really interesting Japanese range that is ceramide based. So it has a lot of milks, it has cream gels, but this is the uh, extra rich cream, which is one that if your skin is playing up and is super dry, is well worth looking out for. They both have a gel cream texture that I really like because you know me generally, if I can get everything I want from my serum, I will. <laughs> I tend not to layer up a lot of creams on top, but if I do, I do like a gel cream serum. And finally, I wanna give a really quick shout out because I've not updated everybody on all of the oils that are now available from The Ordinary. And just recently, uh, Decium celebrated their eighth birthday. Happy birthday to uh, the, De the entire Decium group, which obviously includes Hylamide and Neod and all of that. But it was five years ago that The Ordinary launched and it really did revolutionize skincare. I tend to only use oils in an emergency and only use them at night. And my absolute all time favorite is organic cold pressed rosehip oil. I really like it. It's super lightweight. It's loaded with natural antioxidants. And I just think it's a really nice one if your skin is going through a crisis. I find it quite calming and soothing on my skin. But what I hadn't tried before is the new bee oil. And the bee oil is a microalgae oil. It's slightly thicker and richer. It's sustainably sourced microalgae oil. So it's the microalgae, actually it's very interesting. It's the microalgae that actually give the fish their ability to offer us when we eat fish uh, all of the omegas. Well, they're also found in the microalgae as well. Now, now, a quick warning about the bee oil, which is the organically pressed microalgae. Um, it is sustainably sourced, but I'm just warning you, 
it is a, a thicker I want to say fishy but actually I just think it's not I just think it's it's seawater smelling oil which I don't dislike I'm such a freak when it comes to skincare I never expect it to smell of flowers um so yes it does have a very slight sort of organic cold pressed oil feeling to it and it is definitely heavier than the organic rosehip oil but I definitely think it's worth in looking at bear in mind that it's the microalgae that gives the fish their ability to give us all of the omegas that we need but this one actually just goes straight to the kind of source of those really skin boosting omegas it's a rich one I'm warning you, but if your skin is going through crisis because of the change of the seasons, it's well worth looking at. I put it into my feature that went out last Saturday in Saturday Times when I did my roundup of the 20 best newish, because this isn't quite so new, but I hadn't seen it before, newish buys for skin for beauty under 20 pounds. So it made that list as well. So for most people, I do think the organic cold pressed uh, rosehip oil is the one that most people are gonna love. But do look at the new B oil, it's very interesting it's a it's a powerful antioxidant as well but more importantly it's one of those ones that it won't give you the instant hit of moisture that the two serums will give you that will instantly plump the skin but if you want that extra layer over the top if you want that slow steady reparative effect of a really good omega based skincare oil that's one to look out for there you go they are my what's new and exciting for dry, sensitised, slightly freaky outy skin at this time of year because I think a lot of us are suffering. A lot of people seem to think that the minute the sun comes out everybody's skin is much happier but actually when you get snow one day, sunshine the next day, biting cold winds the next day, your skin completely freaks out. All of these will help repair your barrier function, moisturise your skin, help boost collagen production and just give you that hit of calming, soothing humectants but without breaking the bank. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and I'll see you soon.